Great. So if the rules change by then and there is no more like minimum age in the NBA, the whole one and done thing that I think is going away, then in theory, in the 23-24 season, LeBron would be a free agent and he could go play with Bronny someplace. They could play together if LeBron wanted to play his 21st season, if it all were to go that way. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. What actually matters here is that LeBron is under contract, not a surprise. He and Anthony Davis will run it back in Los Angeles. They've added pieces. They've added Montrez Harrell. They've added, added Schroeder from Oklahoma City. They've added uh, Marcus Saul. And they go into this season as a significant favorite to win another NBA championship. And again, at the risk of getting ahead of myself, that would be five for LeBron. And we all know what that would mean, what that would start to mean. Um, but so he's got that going for him. And now he's got, what, $42.5 million a year going for him as well. And I look, I have zero issue with the money. There's no amount of money he isn't worth. None. If you could just attach a value to players, to whatever it is they actually are worth both financially and competitively, NBA stars and quarterbacks would be by far the most valuable. They are all underpaid. If there were no salary cap in football, then imagine how much money Patrick Mahomes, he's getting paid half a billion dollars with a salary cap. Imagine how much money Patrick Mahomes could get in a sport that had no salary cap and in which he was an unrestricted free agent. How much money is LeBron James actually worth to a team, to a league? It's kind of hard to calculate. So LeBron James, every penny that he gets, I'm good with. No problem whatsoever. And we'll see if he winds up, um, if he winds up putting another championship or two on the mantle while he's there. But two more years, $85 million for LeBron, 36 and 37 age seasons. It'll be 20 years in the NBA by the time he's done with his extension. And we'll see how it goes. It is a two-year extension for LeBron. So he's now tied to the Lakers for three more seasons. This coming year, he makes $39 million. Then the extension, which is an $85 million extension, it'll be 41 and change the first year, 44 and change the second. That'll be his 20th season in the NBA. If he goes that far, it'll be his age 37 season. If he gets there, he averaged 25 points, 10 assists, and eight boards last year, was second in MVP and should have been the MVP of the league. So again, LeBron James, no surprise, contract extension in LA. They're putting the band back together again there with him and Anthony Davis. They're adding pieces like Schroeder and Gasol and Harrell. And so the Lakers will enter this season, particularly with the terrible injury to Clay Thompson, they will enter this season as a significant favorite to win a In the hour, LeBron James has signed a four-year, $153 million deal with L.A. in 2018. Well, now he's got an extension that's going to keep him in L.A. through the 22-23 season, which, oh, by the way, would be his 20th NBA season. We now welcome in our NBA reporter, Dave McMenamin. Why do this now, Dave? Well, Nicole, this is following the playbook that LeBron James and his representative, Rich Paul, uh, implemented after winning the 2016 championship with the Cleveland Cavaliers. They wanted to show the loyalty and the commitment to staying in a program where they just won the ultimate prize. And so in that scenario, of course, he was going to be a free agent and signed a new deal. In this scenario, he's coming off the championship, already had a year guaranteed this year on his deal. This adds another uh, guaranteed length of time that you'll see him in the purple and gold. Okay, so it's two years, $85 million. But the big question going into this free agency period was not LeBron. It was Anthony Davis. So what does all of this mean for AD? Well, certainly we've heard rumblings for weeks now that this would be the time where Anthony Davis would, you know, look to sign his extension in order to have that new deal to be a part of the Lakers, just like LeBron with designs on repeating. And certainly I think this gives us a major clue as to what Anthony Davis's contract situation will look like. You know, you're, you're probably going to see something in the neighborhood for Anthony Davis of either three years guaranteed or two years with a player option to line him up with LeBron James um, so they can both make mutual decisions uh, come the 22-23 season about either staying with the Lakers or, or finding uh, a new team to play for. That's Dave McMenamin with the latest on the breaking news. Elle, is my math right? 153 plus 85 is 238 million. Girl, you're asking someone who was in remedial math. I don't know. Regular season set to go December 22. It'll be a 72 
game season. Kevin Durant ready to go with the Nets a year and a half after that torn Achilles. He's finally able to suit up with Kyrie. Maybe some help with Harden coming. That's a TBD. Kevin Durant was essentially asked after coming off that sort of injury, what if Steve Nash, the head coach, puts you on a minutes restriction? It'll definitely be difficult because I enjoy playing in the game and coach want to pull me out early unexpectedly. Of course, I'll you know, try to push back, but I know they have my best interest. But like I said, we're going to take it a day at a time. I mean, first day of individual workouts, you know, it's cool. We just go from there. Okay, and Jay, I should mention Nash did say the possibility of Duran playing all 72 games is unlikely. That from Steve himself. What do you think? Well, look, I, I think Kevin's going to come back and prove that he is probably the most gifted scorer that we have in today's game. Like, he's a seven-footer who can do things dancing off the dribble, who can score at a highly efficient clip. One of the most efficient scorers we have in the game. I think seeing him, Kyrie Irving, Spencer Dinwiddie, Karis LeVert, uh, they just signed Joe Harris to a pretty hefty deal, by the way. He's making around $16 million a year. Congrats to you, Joe, on getting your money to space out the floor. There's no doubt about it. This this team is going to contend with the Milwaukee Bucks, Miami Heat, Boston Celtics for the Eastern Conference Championship. They should actually be the favorite considering their personnel. 60 games he play? I think if you're looking around 50, 55 games. So 50, 55 60 games. games. One thing we should mention, Joe Harris, I don't want to let that slide. Joe Harris, when he was drafted, was sitting on the end of the bench, wasn't playing. His career was languishing with the Cleveland Cavs. He just signed a seventy-five billion dollars. Huge deal. deal. He was on the. He was like the. You, you needed a telescope to see him on the end of the Cavs bench. Seventy-five million dollars. I mean, there was a reason why JJ Redick, when he went to the New Orleans Pelicans, he got a. I think it was like a. Um, I think he got a twenty-four million dollar deal for two years. Right, guys who can space out the floor, create operating room for guys who can do things off the bounce. So if you're Kevin Durant or if you're Kyrie Irving, you can do things. You know, defenses can collapse in if you don't have a guy that can space you out, kick the ball to, that keep you home, that keep you honest. That's what Joe Harris is moving forward. And Steve Nash also did tell Malika Andrews that they're going to be implementing a style, which I think is going to be crazy exciting to watch them play. Key, we're going to games. We're sitting courtside. When we get the vaccine, we're able to go to games. But it was the fact that you're going to play seven seconds or less. So Steve Nash played this with Mike D'Antoni, where they come down, they try to score seven or seconds or less. They try to keep the pressure on you offensively by increasing the pace of the game, which is only going to make the way they play even more exciting with the scores that they have. Yeah, I, 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 I like the seven seconds, but then when you throw the Mike D'Antoni in there, I'm like, that just, you know, you know how I feel about that fast pace Houston stuff. I just hope it ain't that. Because that yeah. just, I don't care who you have, you can have the greatest players in the world. It just seemed like that does not get you a championship. And we should mention for those that are not familiar, Mike D'Antoni is now an assistant coach of the Brooklyn Nets. But from a familiarity standpoint, even though you said that kind of style is not won an NBA championship, for a guy that's never coached an NBA game like Steve Nash, to be able to turn around and Absolutely. look at the coach exactly. that led him to winning two Absolutely. MVPs, that's got to be helps. amazing. It, it's, not even, it's not even about the, the, the style of play. It's about the in-game adjustments, the timeouts, and who the rotation, who you want in, who you want. 